we're just trying to teach her now. This actually. is kissing. This is kissing. <laughs> <laughs> kissing is is a valid treatable offence. Over by her. She's beautiful, uh -huh. isn't she? Absolutely gorgeous. She really is. When she sits next to me on the sofa, I just keep looking at her and crying. Oh, do you? Because I met her when I went out there in September because she came from, uh, she's been there a long time. Did you? Yeah, but I know that she was rescued and she had five puppies. Yeah, she had five pups so that Nami adopted them all to the States. She was quite laid back with me and Helen straight away. Yeah. Um, but she allowed us to touch her and stuff on the Saturday, but she was quite chilled with me. What does Luna represent to you? Uh, when I look at her, I get really emotional. <laughs> she's just to see um, see where she's come from. At least, at least we've got one. You know, we've saved one. My ideal life would be to have a small sanctuary or at least foster. Um, but we'll see. Who knows what the future holds? But just to spend time with her and see how she's done so well in in a week and a half. It's yeah. just been amazing. I just saw a few videos of her and it was just a sort of, it wasn't something that I could sort of put into words, it just it felt like a real draw to her. Um, but when I, I must say, when I went to go and get her, I was a bit nervous because I was still wondering whether we had the time to put into a dog that's so traumatised. Yeah. Um, but as soon as she sort of walked through the door, she sort of became a different dog and she became our dog straight away. Um, yeah, so, and, and she looks different now to when I first saw her and she just looks more beautiful and got loads of character. So, yeah, I just think she's sort of really come into her own since she's been with us. She does these huge sighs as well. As soon as she yeah. picked her up when she got in the car, didn't she? She let out these massive big sighs. And yeah. I think it's because they know, I think they know that they're going to be safe. Yeah. It was, and actually, first of all, I thought, because I was actually on my own driving with her. And oh, I was wow. Like, oh, is she going to just jump around and cause me to crash? But yeah. actually, she just, after about five minutes, she just settled straight down and went to sleep for the whole journey. She sort of settled down and then it took us about half an hour to get her through the door because obviously it's quite a dark house and she couldn't see around the corner. So we just sat with her really patiently and then the first thing she did was come out of here and she was just happy as Larry as soon as she was in the garden. Well, credit to Donna. She's obviously been working um, to, for this cause for a couple of years and I've got full admiration for all of the horrific things that she's put herself through and um, seen. 